everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup routine. I'm going to be walking you through all the products that I use and the tips and tricks that I have specifically for doing makeup on Indian skin. The first thing I do is I like to put these little clips in my hair just to keep my hair out of my face. The first product I start with is a really good moisturizer. This one is from Laneige. To be completely honest, I'm not super loyal to any specific brand and I kind of like to switch it up every single time I buy a new lotion. I stopped using very harsh cleansers when I was younger. I used to love the feeling of washing my face and my face would feel tight and I thought that was a good thing. And I was like, this is going to keep the oil away for so long. But a lot of the times your skin is actually going to overcompensate in those situations. Um, I also like to go in with a little bit of Laneige eye cream. I think eye cream is kind of not that important, but it came with the package, so. I use my ring finger just to like pat in my eye cream and I go a little bit on my smile lines around my nose and a little bit on my eyebrows. Those areas tend to be dry for me. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with this Laneige lip sleeping mask. This mask is actually really good. I feel like it's expensive for a chapstick, but you get a lot of product and I like slather this thing on. And I don't mind going on the outside of my lips because these areas tend to get dry, especially in the winter. So <laughs> I will kind of put a bunch of this on everywhere. And I will even go in with the leftover bits slightly under my eyes and on my cheekbones and a little bit on my eyebrows and again, smile lines, just to keep everything moisturized. The next product I go in with which I didn't actually know I was supposed to be using, is a sunscreen. This one is from Tula and it's called the Protect and Glow. When you have Indian skin, you have more melanin. Melanin refers to the pigmentation that gives our skin its brown color. And melanin is naturally protecting from the sun, but it never hurts to have more sun protection. A lot of signs of sun damage are actually what we associate with aging. So anything that we can do to protect our face is important. Also, a lot of the skincare we use can actually make our skin more susceptible to skin damage. So. When you're not putting UVB, you're kind of doing more damage to your skin than good because you're making your skin super raw and it doesn't have much protection against these UVB rays. The next product that I go in with is this LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is a super cheap concealer and this is actually in a peach shade. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is obviously not my skin tone. The goal of using a peach corrector is to cancel out any darkness. I know that I've always had darkness, especially around my under eyes, and I would try to go in with just a lot of concealer to try to mask it. It never really worked and I feel like you can always see that there's just a layer of light concealer over all this darkness. And when you use a peach corrector, you have to use a lot less product and you get a little better of an outcome because it's actually able to cancel out that darkness. I also find that this color is super good for Indian skin tones. I know a lot of people like to do like the red lipstick which can work on deeper skin tones, but I know on mine, I would literally use more concealer covering up the red lipstick than I would just my eye back. So this is what I like to do. I kind of put it in this triangle shape, even though this triangle shape is kind of outdated <laughs> for concealer. It works really well for concealing all the darkness that I have. I also don't like to put my concealer super close to my waterline because you usually have some creases around here, especially if you had a long night and you haven't slept in a little bit. So when you put it there, it's just gonna settle into the creases and you don't want a lot of product up here. So I put the majority of product here and then I'll blend it up slightly to go up there. I also like to put a little bit around my chin. I feel like I have a little bit darkness over there. So that's where I put mine. I know some people have darkness on the upper lip area. I feel like I don't have that. So I don't wanna put any extra product to draw any attention there. And I do like to put a little bit on the tip of my nose. I like to put a little bit kind of at the nose bridge and then a little bit just at the center of my forehead. Now, I actually like to blend out my concealer under my eyes last, and I'll go blend everything else out first. I feel like when I let the concealer sit on top of my body heat, it just gets a little bit of a thicker texture, and it has a little bit more coverage, and I feel like it looks even more natural when I blend it out, so that's what I really like to do. It's kind of like baking, how people used to bake with powder products, where they put a lot of powder on, leave it on their skin, and wipe it off. I guess I kind of do the same thing with creams. I also do feel like I have a little bit of like discoloration here, so I'll just go over it. I don't like to do a lot because I think a lot of that is just natural shadowing from like your cheekbones. I like to go over it a little bit, but not a ton. I actually did have a subscriber request this tutorial on Instagram. I'm actually really glad that they did because I was looking for an Indian makeup tutorial over winter break and there's very few people that I actually related to making tutorials. There's a lot of older women giving their tips, which is great. I think that any representation is good representation, but I didn't really find anyone that I could personally relate to with makeup that was consistent with the makeup I was wearing every single day. Like I'm not doing a full face of concealer and contouring to go to a Zoom lecture. <laughs> I mean, some people would argue this way too much for a Zoom lecture. 
I also feel like I finally got into the point where I'm okay with myself without makeup. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this. I always do such natural makeup and a lot of people assume that I don't really wear any makeup and I kind of feel like I tricked myself into thinking that. I had a hard time kind of accepting how my skin looked in its natural state. I would always try to put on makeup even when it was inconvenient for me. Now I take the approach that makeup is something I do because I enjoy it. So if I have extra time and I feel like putting on makeup, then I will. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Neutrogena Creamy Radiant Skin Concealer. This is in a shade that's like one to two shades lighter than my skin tone. I like to put this right on my cheekbones. I'm also gonna put a little bit on my chin, just the tip of my nose and like one line on the forehead. I'm also gonna put a little bit right kind of under here just to like carve out the cheekbones a little bit. Cause like I said, I kind of have some natural discoloration there. And then again, I like to go for this eye area last because that's where I want the most coverage. This is also one of the e.l.f. sponges. I've never had a beauty blender so I can't really compare them. I don't know. I think this works well. And then this contour, usually you want to blend your contour up but since this is kind of like reverse contour, you want to blend it down so that your cheekbones are lifted. I feel like I miss when YouTube was just like super casual makeup tutorials. YouTube in general is kind of weird because you would kind of subscribe to people for the lifestyles that they were living but now their lifestyles are pretty much funded by YouTube so it's kind of this weird cycle. I also feel like the makeup community has been so disconnected from its viewers, especially like during the pandemic. Their lives are just so unrealistic and so different than what like first responders are doing or people that are essential workers. It's also so weird that the people at the top of the beauty community are like James Charles and Jeffree Star. And don't get me wrong, I don't like Jeffree Star, but I like James Charles. I think everyone works really hard for their success on YouTube. However, I think it's kind of sad that even an industry like makeup, which is supposed to be for women, is kind of taken over. Once I have all that put on, I like to go in with this Ulta Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. I don't know, I just like what it does and I feel like it brings a lot of color to my lips. I don't think I necessarily need lip plumping, especially on my bottom lip because this sucker is kind of way too big. I really like that it brings a lot of natural color to my lip and I like the tingling sensation. Now, I don't like to apply any powders on my face yet because I always have an issue with my makeup creasing. So the way I approach it is I kind of just let it sit on my face for like five minutes. I'll let it crease and then I'll buff out the creases and then I'll put powder on top of that. I feel like this is a better method because usually when your makeup is creasing, you kind of just have excess product there and when you're able to blend it out, you're getting rid of the excess product. So I just feel like it makes it last a lot better. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I recently changed the shape and I kind of like took off the tail of my eyebrows. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Everyone on TikTok was doing it so it felt like a good idea. The main thing I usually do, I don't really fill in my eyebrows. I just brush them because when you're putting all of like the concealer and powder on, they usually get covered up and they look lighter than they are. So I usually just brush them. Because I shaved off my tail, I guess we gotta take care of that. Do this eyebrow versus this eyebrow. Just a very slight difference, but I feel like it looks a lot better. Put in a little bit more. I also never noticed how unsymmetrical my face was and that I have a good side until I started filming videos and editing my face for multiple hours every single day. I think this is my good side. Maybe it's this one. I can't tell. I don't know. There's something off. Like one side of my face is, sig I think it's this side. This is significantly higher. I don't know. But it's okay. Your face is beautiful. Your parents gave you your face. So I'm gonna look underneath. I don't really see any creasing, but I'm still gonna blend it out. And then I'm gonna go in with this Essence Brighten Up Translucent Powder. I think any powder really works here. I'm not super particular about the brand. And I like to go in with this really big fluffy powder brush. And I just like to brush a little bit under my eyes, kind of set the concealer and wherever I put it, I'll just brush a little bit on. Now we've pretty much removed all trays of color from the face. So now I ironically like to go back in with more makeup to add the color that we removed. I really like this Too Faced face. Can you guys see my setup? It's so crappy. Inception. So this is this Too Faced setup. I like to go in with this dark shade here and a little bit of this just to add some warmness around here, a little bit on the sides of my forehead. I like to go in with this angled Morphe brush. I like to place this actually kind of above my cheekbones because it kind of helps to lift the face. I see a lot of people putting bronzer and they put it on really low. I also feel like I had a hard time finding a bronzer shade that was flattering for Indian skin tones. A lot of 
bronzers were literally my skin tone so I really like this and I feel like it has a really good undertone to it I used to never wear it and now I'm kind of obsessed with it I'm also gonna go with a blush I'm gonna make a mixture of this shade and a little bit of this one just right there just to the cheekbones this is the apples on your cheeks where a lot of people apply blush but when you apply it up here it actually makes you have more of like that fox eye super snatched bella hadid look with blush i also like to bring it up onto the temples and I'll also bring it over my eyelids so it's kind of like a natural eyeshadow i wanted to go over like a couple other blushes that i use a lot because i feel like blush for indian skin is really hard to find this is a marc jacobs one in air and fantasy and i absolutely love this i'm gonna put this color on over it's kind of similar to one of the Too Faced colors. I don't know, I just love the finish and the fact that it's mixed with the highlighter, I think it's so smart. I'm actually gonna go in with like a little bit over here just to add some highlight. A blush that I recently found is this one from Essence. It's in the shade Believing. This is so pretty. I'm gonna put this one on too. I feel like it's such a pretty deep mauvey shade. This is so much blush. Holy cow! I also don't put any on my nose. I think it's kind of popular. Another thing I'll do if I have a couple extra minutes is I like to go in with this big fluffy brush and then again this deepest shade here and I just like to put a little bit not on my crease I like to put it above my crease to kind of lift my eyes. This is pretty much everything that I do to my face. I'm gonna go in with a giant beauty blender or an elf sponge and I like to pat everything in. I think going in with a damp sponge this is actually so good because you're kind of melting the product into your face and you're almost adding like a layer of water on top of it so I feel like it seals it in better. It doesn't look super powdery. I feel like it brings a lot of the natural luminosity back to your skin. And if you apply a bunch of product like I just did with the blush, it'll kind of remove the excess, which is really great. To be completely honest, face makeup is my favorite, so a lot of the times I just stop here. But when I do want to add something to my eyes, I like to go in with this angled brush and I just add some eyeshadow eyeliner. This is this little palette from Milani. I like to go in with this brown shade, sometimes a little bit of the black. I try to not use a bunch of the black because throughout the day when it wears, I feel like it can just really drag your face down and look really heavy so i really like to go in with the brown one and it's super subtle i'm not really sure if you guys can see it but i don't want it to look super obvious it's so interesting how much like makeup styles change because i remember when i was younger i just wanted like really big round eyes and now everyone wants like the more angled Eye. I've literally seen like models tape their faces for photo shoots. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black just so you guys can see it because I feel like it's not showing up on camera. Also, I see so many people doing their eyeliner and like tugging on their eye a bunch. Don't do that. You're gonna give yourself wrinkles. Be delicate with your skin. My mom always complains about aging, but guys, think about how many people every single day are denied the privilege to age. Aging is kind of beautiful. I think faces are so cool. Skin in general, it kind of like has the scars of like everywhere you've been and i feel like everyone's skin tells a story i already really like the color that the clumping lip gloss adds to my lips but if i want to go in with something a little bit extra i go in with this color pop one i feel like i was always scared to go with shades like these but they look really natural on indian skin and i feel like sometimes i would try to go with the more natural shades they would kind of just look really fake because they're pretty much too light for my skin tone so i feel like these purpley deeper shades translate really well, at least on my skin. I also never usually put on mascara unless I'm filming a video because when you put all these products on your face, it kind of makes your eyelashes non-existent. So I'm gonna go in with this travel size milk one. I usually only buy travel size mascara because I don't wear it often enough. And I like to put it on very lightly. I like to be able to rub my eyes throughout the day. I also like to have like a couple things that I don't do every single day. So like if I'm like going somewhere fancy, I can like do those things to my makeup and automatically look like a lot better without putting in a lot more effort. So that's it for my everyday makeup routine. Let me know what you guys think about it. I really like this look. This is a look that I've pretty much been perfecting since I was like 14. I feel like it looks really natural. I feel like it kind of just accentuates the features that I like. And I feel like it works really well for Indian skin tone. I don't think it looks very makeup-y and I feel like it works for a lot of different settings whether that be like more professional or even just like running to the grocery store. I love how fast it is. I can usually do it in like 15 minutes <laughs> right before class. So I also don't think some of y'all realize how big of a difference lighting makes on how your makeup looks. So I really wanted to show you this look by a window and natural lighting because natural lighting can do you dirty. This is exactly how this looks super up close. As you can see, I do have skin texture, all these like little dots and things like that. I used to think that I was just really bad at makeup. 
and with my makeup like caking up but a lot of this is actually just your natural skin's texture so i feel like makeup to an extent is always going to look makeup-y but compared to a lot of other looks i feel like this looks very natural it doesn't look heavy on the skin it wears super beautifully throughout the day and even though you might always have like little dots and little bits of texture, it doesn't mean that your makeup products aren't working properly or anything like that. That's just because you're a human with skin and this is what skin happens to look like. Yep, that's my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!